Hey guys, welcome back to RC Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So I've got a very, and do you know what I'm going to say, I've got an extremely fantastic car to show you today. Um, it's making its channel debut, um, you may have seen it on the other channel but again this is just a series of videos where I document, where I want to document what I have in my collection on the correct channel which is this one uh, and of course the new subscribers who may have not seen it because this thing is rather special and this is what I'm talking about genuinely one of the best cars in my collection this car is basically fully 3D printed from start to finish obviously there's screws, there's hardware, there's tyres motor you know so there's the obvious things are not 3D printed but um, the vast majority of it is and this thing, when you, when I take the shell off it, is just off the chart. So how this came about, a massive shout out to the YouTube channel, The Grumpy Modeler. He contacted me and said, I've got something for you. Um, just see what you think to it when you get it. And then when it turned up, I had no idea what to expect. I believe he calls it the Badger. I think that's his name for it. So it's a two wheel drive off road buggy but it's front wheel drive so you've got the big tyres on the front narrows on the back oh, it's just awesome this thing um, and yeah and I did a, there was so much interest in this in previous videos and I did promise I'd, I'd do a better video on it and sort of really have a closer look at the chassis because a lot of people were interested how it went together so I'm going to do that in this video um, but before we bring a camera over I also want to show you it running so I've just edited a very sort of quick video together of this thing running and if you've not seen it run I think you're going to be surprised by this video this thing <laughs> runs really well it had a 21 turn brushed motor in it I ran it on 2S um, the only thing that let it down was my fault I should have put a faster servo in there that's all it really needed but um, yeah, you'll see from this video, this thing goes really well. <laughs> that is way faster than I thought it was going to be. Absolutely love it. I have probably got it set a little bit on the low side, suspension wise. Just because we're on tarmac mainly. But um, it's pretty cool. What a thing! got to be careful I don't flip it because it's got so much grip because the back end just doesn't I'm obviously so used to um, two-wheel drive but rear wheel drive so you can lose the back end quite easily whereas this it's just gripping oh my word 21 turn brush motor on 2s that's very I've not brought my speed meter with me that's very close to 30 mile an hour. Damn, it's got some right punch on it. I knew this would be pretty cool, but I didn't think it would be this cool, I've got to be honest with you. So, I hope you could say this thing <laughs> runs incredibly well. And I've got to be honest, hand on heart, I didn't expect it to run like that. I really didn't. I thought I'd have nothing but problems just because of my, what would you say, lack of understanding of 3D printing technology. Anyway, so yeah, close up of it. So, the, the blue and the white is how the shell came to me and it had a matching wing because this is actually, the shell's actually 3D printed as well. Um, but I, I just I just messed around with it as you can see from the decals um, the starting point was I just thought it would look better with a big wing on and I had an old um, Tamiya racing wing which has had loads of orange paint on it so I stripped it off pretty quickly put them the um, well I call it a bull mad that's kind of what I nicknamed it I know that's a bit stupid but anyway so I wanted those decals on and what I actually did look for was these were Dynastorm decals that I had for the wing sides which were left over so I just put them on the standard racing wing and then I loved the shape of the outline so I cut the wing out to match the decals and I think that shape let me just lift the camera up 
I think the shape of that wing is absolutely gorgeous. And actually, I like it that much that um, I copied that on a couple of cars, mainly my TD4 Super Avante, the Tamiya car. I've, I've copied that shape, and uh, I've got lots of cars with these wings on, and I think pretty much every one I'm going to copy that shape because it just, for me, it looks better. And then, obviously, we've got Big Wig, Mad Bull, there's... There's some Tamiya Avanti ones, uh, black Avanti ones on there. There's, it's just kind of spurious decals, but uh, I did think it kind of livened the car up a little bit and made it look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more my style, if that makes sense. Actually, I'm just looking at some egress wing um, decals on the inside of the wing. It's actually one of those cars for me that now I've got it looking kind of how I want it to look. You kind of look past the shell and the decals and every time you look at the car and you'll see this when I take the top off, it's there's just so much to look at and so much 3D engineering that's gone on with this car and it, it honestly is next level. Obviously we've got the silver can motor in here which I swapped over because I used a 21 turn on something else. Got gearbox covers but I'm going to show you all this actually as we go. But yeah, I just think the, the shape of it, it's just, it's awesome. So let's get into the mechanics of this thing because it is a little bit special. So I'll just give you a look of how the overall chassis looks first of all. So as you know, the gearbox bolted onto the front, shocks are coming off it, front shocks at quite a steep angle. This chassis, then you've got these two upper chassis, this deck, which looks to be pretty much that's all one piece. And then you've got these crazy rear arms that, um, I'll show you it working, that pivot with the shocks like that. Now, the shocks deserve a massive mention because the, the, the friction shocks. Now, also, sorry, before I'll come back to that. He, when he was printing it, I remember him telling me he'd actually done things in particular colors for me because he knew this car was coming on Tamiya Legends. So he used the blue material and the yellow material, material against the black just to give it that kind of Tamiya vibe, if that makes sense. Anyway, back to the shocks. So, Basically, yeah, if this car's been stood for a while, the shocks don't feel great. But basically, the more and more you work them, the better the shocks get. Bearing in mind, they're not oil shocks, they're not dampers. But when I took this out, you see that, that front's not doing much. But um, you just kind of work it through. I don't know if that's going to show. You can see it start to come more alive. Um, so I did this before I ran it. But obviously, this has been stood for a long time now, since then. But um, it's really, and it's got no electrics in it. But just super cool how it works. And I don't know if you can, you did see it on the running video, but you actually see the shocks working while it's running. Right, let me see for more angles. So that's the rear. So obviously you've just got some basic hubs in there, which are kind of two wheel drive. Car's fully ball rest as well. Oh, the wheels are 3D printed as well, I should have said. Oops, they look air aren't they? Really cool. Oh, that's how that back works. And it's even got the, see that screw there, like touring cars have. So you can set the uh, droop adjust adjustment. So cool. And I know you can't say, you, you can't feel it yourself, but that is honestly super smooth. Oh, look at the turnbuckles again, 3D printed. <laughs> That is just off the chart, isn't it? Absolutely love it. Just like to show you this working. Ton of movement as well. And again, super smooth. And then all the gears are 3D printed inside it. It's got, obviously got the motor in it now. But uh, yeah, the diff feels great. Steering. Now I thought with big bulky tyres on the front, even though it was front wheel drive, I thought the steering would be pretty pants. But as you could see when it was running, it's it's anything but that. You can see the belt in there. Move that motor wire over. See the belt pulley from the gearbox. Just incredible design work. Super, super cool. I keep using the same words, but um, it's a, just another one that I kind of nerd out on because, and, and do you know what? I'd love to see, now obviously, oops, sorry, 
Um, I was going to say, I'd love to see someone like Tamiya um, bring in a new two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive um, buggy out. I would honestly love to see that. Now, ORV, the OV, OV, do a proper one of these. That's a proper one. I just mean it's not 3D printed. Um, they're the only company. I know Kyosho back in the day did it with the, was it the Maxim? I think that was front-wheel drive. Um, Tamiya, as far as I can remember, I've never done it on a buggy, but there's plenty of touring cars that are front-wheel drive. But I would love to see something like this from one of the manufacturers, you know, be it, I don't know, Tamiya or Kayosho or, or even someone else, you know, and make it affordable. And um, just with this design, I know they can't probably copy this design, but, you, you know, you get what I'm saying. I just think it's an incredibly special thing. Gearbox covers. I can't remember how it works. Obviously, that one comes off for you. You can see into your pinion, pull the laptop of shock off, and then you can take this full um, gear cover off, and then you can get into the big spur gear. And again, that pulls around onto that diff. I, th I think possibly the biggest surprise for me while I was running it, because I expected things to kind of maybe break, is the gearing, isn't it? You know, it's 3D printed. That's just that just shows you how kind of strong that material is nowadays, and I would guess it's only going to get stronger as they go. Do you know? I've just realised. Has that got UJs in it? Can't tell if that's front UJs. I kind of think it might be because I can't see the side of it. It's kind of cool. I didn't realise it had you, Jersey. No, obviously, they're not 3D printed. So, yeah, I hope you agree. It's a little bit of a special thing, isn't it? Um, it's, and again, I don't know if I said it earlier or I've said it later in this video, but it just it's just one of those cars that I would I would honestly never get rid of. Um, you know, the proper, if there is, if I can use that terminology, the proper RC cars would go before this one because... Yeah, it's just a little bit special. And um, there's not going to be a great deal of these about. There's definitely not one that looks like that. And um, anyway, I'm starting to dribble on. But uh, as I said, yeah, we will get this out to run again at some point. We're probably a little bit of a tamer motor because I'd like to get it now the weather's here. I'd like to get it on the gravel um, because on the tarmac it was superb. And it was, you know, I wouldn't say it was on rails, but it wouldn't have taken a lot of work to make it kind of handle on rails. So... With the same setup, but just a bit of a tamer motor. I'd like to see what it's like on the gravel. Um, that could be pretty cool. And then maybe with a view in the future, but that won't be anytime soon, to maybe kind of get it on a track. Maybe just a Tamiya Legends Arena track. Um, that might be a good place for it, with it, the jumps not being crazy. But uh, anyway, stick in the comments what you think, my friends. So I hope you agree. It's, it's a real thing, isn't it? It's absolutely awesome. And that's why in my collection, you know, I've got some weird and wonderful cars. I've got some very expensive cars. I've got some extremely rare cars. But for me, this is right up there. And I've said that since I got it. Because obviously the fact that it was given to me the, and the gentleman just went out of his way to send me this because he knew I would appreciate it. It's just off the chart. And then obviously I did my own thing with the decals and things. You may like them, you may not. Um, and then again, running it. So definitely getting this out for a run. Now the better weather's here at last. Um, I probably put a little a tamer motor in it. That 21 turn brushed was a little bit too quick for it, I thought. Um, and maybe we'll get it off road this time or at least on the gravel. Um, just on that. If you check out the Grumper Modeler's channel, you'll see he's got a back garden track with jumps. And um, he's got his cars rattling around that really quickly and doing big jumps. These things, I mean, I didn't know a lot about 3D printing. Um, and probably wrongly, I assumed everything was really soft and it'd break. But uh, as you'll see from his videos, if you go watch them, um, yeah, they don't break easily at all. So yeah, I'm I'm really chuffed to showcase this on the new channel because I think it had to be there because it's it's a real oddball, isn't it? Real oddball. Anyway, I think this video's probably dragged on long enough, so please leave in the comments what you think to this. I know a few guys who have um, 
bought the files for this and started well have free printed their own cars which is cool because it's not a lot of money to, to download the files and what have you how much it costs for 3d printers and then materials needed no idea but luckily i didn't need to do that so yeah this is this is one of those ca cars that i'll just i'll never get rid of it's just it's just very special it's got hairs on it though which is a little bit odd and i don't think they're 3d printed hairs if i'm honest anyway i'm dribbling on aren't I? so as always my friends thanks so much for watching it honestly is massively appreciated if you are new to this channel maybe consider subscribing giving this video a like dropping a comment turning all the notifications on that'd be awesome because we're putting out two videos a week on this channel and we're also putting out two videos a week on tamiya legends channel if you're interested in that so as always my friends happy rc <laughs>